e-content, such as e-books or electronic books, are also available to you through the library's homepage. So we're going to click on Find Books, and then head over to the right here and click on Electronic Books. And the first resource listed is Net Library, which contains over 5,000 e-books and over 1,700 audiobooks, which are available to you for free through the SNAP Consortium. So we can click on this image here or on the link, and which will open in a new browser window. So if you have pop-ups, you'll need to disable those. And this is the basic search screen for Net Library. The most important thing to start off is that you need to create a user account. And it's free. You just need to create the account either from on campus or from one of the SNAP partner libraries. Doing a free account will let you log into your account from home and will allow you to also access Net Library from home. If you try and access Net Library from home without an account, you won't be able to search for books and you won't be able to read them from your computer screen. So, first things first, make that free account. Since I'm on campus, I'm already locked in, logged into the Net Library, and I can go ahead and start searching. Now, we talked about uh, a little bit in the lecture about the uh, thing about Net Library is that you can search full text. Full text searching in Net Library is a really great feature. It can also be a little bit problematic, which we'll see in just a second. So I'm going to type in a couple of keywords here. I want to search for climate change. So um, I'm going to search full text in Net Library for this topic. I'm going to hit search. And in Net Library, there are over 1,000 items uh, that have the keywords climate change. Now you'll notice that hit number one here is actually an irrelevant hit. And that's because it found the keyword climate and it found the keyword change, but it didn't find them linked together like it did in hit number two, climate change as a concept. So one way around this is to just put quotation marks around my words to tell the database, link those two together, I want them side by side. So now I can hit search again and go from 1,100 or 1,011 hits to 145, which is much better. And now scrolling down, I can see climate change is highlighted and linked in all these other places. So the Net Library database has found my concept climate change 145 times. So I can scroll through here. Um, let's pick an ebook to look at. Ooh, sea level change. Let's pick at this one. So I can simply click View This Ebook and on the left hand side of the screen, the first thing that pops up is a table of contents. On the right hand side is a cover image of the book that we're looking at. So I could click through this table of contents to go directly to that section in the book. I'm going to click Future Measurements and it takes me to page 219. Let's see, if I toggle, if I click this little plus button, it will expand and now I can see that there's a second link here, 14. Strategy for future measurements of very low frequency sea level change. Okay, so now I am in um, actually chapter 14 of this book on page 221. Now up on the right hand side of the screen I can click next or previous to flip back and forth between the pages of this book. So really it's, it's similar to print books that you flip back and forth through the pages, you're just doing it on your computer screen. Um, another nice thing, another nice feature in that library is full text searching within the book that you're looking at. So let's say I wanted to look for the phrase absolute gravity. Let's absolute gravity. I've typed that in. Let's hit search. And that phrase, absolute gravity, appears twice in this ebook. Once on the page that I'm already sitting on and again on page 227. So I can just click view this page and it'll take me to the next page where absolute gravity appears. Also on the left hand side there's a dictionary that I can uh, use to look up a term's definition in the ebook. And there's also a tab titled e-content details which gives me all the bibliographic information available for this book so that I can make a good citation. And it looks like it has one subject heading applied to it here, one Library of Congress subject heading. 